Hey guys, it's me, Dash Roll Rush. Um, we're gonna do an LP of a game I haven't played before. It's a bit old. I think it's from 2009. Um, so here it is, uh, Muramasa, the Demon's Blade. Oh, okay, there you go. Three, two, one, start. Now, um, so far all I've played of this game was up to like the first boss, just to you know see if the disc works. Disc worked. I uh, I got it used. Um, it's game I've been meaning to play for a long time, but just haven't gotten around to it until now, I guess. Um, so this is going to be a blind run for, well, most of it. Um, going to be playing with the GameCube controller. Um, you know, I, I mean, this first couple parts, these first couple parts, probably not going to be, um, aren't going to be blind, but, you know, for a bunch of it, completely blind. Answer the call of the demon blade, thirsting to draw and drink blood. Witness the fate of those drawn to the demon blade. Producer Yosufumi Hashimoto. So, um, like I said, this game was one I've been meaning to play for a long time, just didn't get around to it until now. Um, it's kind of a Metroidvania type game, but a lot more arcadey and action-y. Um, So hopefully it's fun. I have good things about it. Um, it's made by Vanilla Ware. They also made uh, Odin Sphere, which is um, it's an RPG. This is more action, but it's kind of the same graphical style. It's all hand drawn, uh, hand drawn sprites and art, um, 2D, but um, very very pretty. Very very pretty game. Um, and it's it's actually pretty obscure from from what I you know I, I don't really hear about the game much um, from other people. Um, I definitely haven't seen any other LPs of it, which I guess is part of the reason I'm doing it, just to put the game out there. Um, yeah, and um, well, not as I, I, I guess I'd use inspired as um, El Shaddai is again very very pretty game. And I think it's the same publisher, um, not the same developer. I think it's Ignition did both games. Okay. So Muramasa, the Demon Blade, and that leaf splitting there is actually from the legend of the Muramasa, which is that if you were to stick a Muramasa blade in a river, any leaves that came across it would be split down the middle. So, i um, just going to start a new game. Okay, Muso and Shura. Um, this game gets really hard, and I tried playing Ashura, couldn't beat the first boss. Um, Muso, again, it's still a hard game, but basically the difference is with Muso, the game auto defends for you. And we're sure you have to defend yourself. So I'm just gonna play as Muso, even though it's kind of the pussy way out. So, uh, you can start. There are two stories of this game, and apparently you play through each one like three times to get the true ending. I don't know if I'll be doing that, because it, it is kind of collection based. Basically, the game, I'll explain later. But you could uh, either play as Momohime, uh, a princess, or a Kisuke who is a ninja. Um, I started with Kisuke last time, and it just played out, so I'll start as Kisuke again this time. Or Kisuke, or whatever. Tutorial, um, I'm not gonna go through it. I, I mean, there's not much story in it, so, uh, no, I'm not gonna start the tutorial. I'm just gonna skip it, explain as I go. Okay. So we're at Yamashiro, foot of Bukimi something district. Opening act, show the barriers to reach the main road. Uh, the barriers we're talking about is this over here. And like I said, it's kind of a metroidvania, where you will collect different swords with the powers to unlock barriers. Um, but I don't have the sword I need for this one, so we will continue 
onto the right. Uh, those green things repair. Well, okay. By collecting souls that are scattered, you can gradually replenish your blade's soul power. If you discover any souls, be sure to collect them. Um, basically, um, your blades will weaken as you defend and attack and use their special abilities, and these souls repair them. That's, that's all it is. Uh, you start out with three blades, and you can switch between them at any time. So blade, long blade, and... Okay, so two long blades and one blade. Blades are shorter, attack more fast, and long blades are longer, have slower swings, but... I mean, all the attacking is fast in this game. So it's totally just a matter of which style you prefer. So then this is our first battle. So... It's actually set up a lot like Smash Brothers, the controls of this game. Um, it's 2D, you're fighting a whole bunch of stuff. That's the special ability of this blade, called Cyclone. Okay. So, um, basically the controls are, you move around and you jump with the control stick. A button is a normal attack. You can only attack um, in battle, though, so I can't really show you here, but A button um, is normal attack, and on the game controller, Y button is the uh, special attack. Then you could use X to use your items, which are on the top right of the screen, and um, stuff, stuff, stuff. So the basket in the screen there means that there is a secret item somewhere. There it is. It glows. I probably won't be finding all of these just because there aren't... Well, okay, well, that explains it. They're, they're not really that useful. Those are just, yeah, healing items and stuff. I'll probably play through this kind of literally because it is my first time and I won't know where all the secrets are. So sorry if that disappoints you. Okay. And you can juggle dead enemies, which is cool. Okay. So th this first battle are easy, especially in Muso, where they defend for you. Um. But even so, I think I'll try out this long blade. Okay. Now we fight our samurai. Well, the game will explain most of it, I guess. Like I said, I don't know much about the game either. I just started to. So this blade's special ability didn't do anything because they're blocking. The good thing is the special abilities aren't as aren't on a cooldown. They're just kind of you. You know, the sword has a certain... The thing under the, the words Two Flame, that's the sword's kind of health meter. I guess. And that's what Two Flame does. Oh, so as you saw, my sword broke, which means I switched to another one. And um, if the, the top part is glowing green, that means when you switch swords, there'll be a full screen attack. Okay. So anyway, I just got an I am... Continuing on. Um, and you, you can see just like here, the, the just the attention to detail that they put in this game. Where like every single grain, I don't know if it's wheat or whatever it is, hay. It's all kind of just individually animated. And you can see right there, the uh, even like the, the scarf on the, on the statue there is blown in the breeze. So it's very, very, you know pretty. A lot of attention to detail in the game. Which I like. And now free shit! I'll get more into the inventory of the system later. And the, and you know, as I learn more about it. I, I know I'm, I'm kind of talking as if I know everything about the game. And I did do some, you know, some research. But, uh, most of this, like I said, I'm playing this mostly blind. So. Yeah. I know probably less than a lot of you do. Even though I'm talking like I don't. Okay. There we go. Moving on. So far, be linear. Um, a lot of this game is linear, like you do have set objectives, but how you get there, so I hear, is what makes the game kind of Metroidvania-y. Damn it, just missed that ninja. Okay. Okay, that one has bombs, and he's all the way on the top map. There you go. Like, trust me, as soon as we're past the first boss battle, 
I will lose all confidence in knowing what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. You can knock around those bombs, apparently, just by hitting them. I didn't actually know that before, I just kind of moved out of there, did it unintentionally. So as you can see, fighting's pretty frantic. Even though I'm not getting hit, uh, well, I did get hit there. But, you know, I'm not getting hit much, and I still am. And now it's actually worthwhile to collect these, uh, the souls. Uh, any back here? Nope. Uh, the map, um, as you see in the middle, it can be turned off with Z. Oh, one makes it bigger, and then again, turn it. But I, I think I'm going to keep it like this most of the game. Just so I know, you know, where, where I where I want to go and what I'm doing and all that. Um, personally, so far, I like the, the, the handle of just the, the blade better instead of the long blade. Um, but we'll see how that, if that, you know, changes any throughout the game. I guess. But so far, the um, the cyclone ability is my favorite ability in the game. So, uh, I don't know. And there are more than just those two abilities. Every blade has its own special ability. And I'll, I'll try out as many swords as I can. There's a forge system. I'll be getting into that later after we collect our... You know, after like the game kind of introduces it to us. They're all dead? Yeah, and I leveled up. Uh, leveling up, I'm still not sure what it does. <laughs> it makes you a bit powerful, I guess, but there aren't really no stats in the game. Um, aside from the ones that your swords... Um, that your sword does. <clears throat> I'm sounding like really confident in your aim on, on this whole issue of the game. Getting a lot more fights did my first time through. Uh, fights are randomized. There, there are random encounters, kinda, but you won't get like more than one a screen. And... But depending whether you get them on on one screen or not, it's randomized. So you can go through a lot of the game without battling anything, or get swamped with battles your entire way through. And uh, we're reaching a save point, I think. Yep, this is our first save point. So, that's my first save file. I only played about an hour. Uh, would I like to continue my game? Yes. Okay. And boss area. So, uh, I guess I'll end the part here, and we'll go to the first boss.